car. She has something going on in her car, so. Oh. She says, it's got a bearing going. You don't want to take my car. <laughs> said, yeah, okay, I'll take my car. I'll take my rat trap. Messy, dirty car, but that's okay. Do you have a cell phone? I don't. No. So t tell me about Fillmore. I don't make many trips up north, so. Oh, it's about halfway between here and Salt Lake, between there and Salt Lake. Mm, okay, I think uh, Les is going to come with me. Okay. He's, he's calling from the upstairs phone to let his wife know that he's not going to come home tonight. Oh, that's cool. And, uh, that way I can meet you both. That sounds good. my great uncle and the guy that's going to just totally tear apart the city down there. Well, I, I, I'm doing my best down there to tear him apart. It's, uh... Yeah, um, I called my lawyer. Okay. And the one that took my case through. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you his phone number. I will need that for sure. When we connect. Oh, okay. Because he... Well, Caroline has it as well. Okay. Because he's done this once before. Okay. And I figured you guys would need all the help you 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 can get. Yeah, I'm I'm sitting back here at this end going, oh, let's see, who do I have to call now? I I called Buster Johnson. He's in the middle of something, and and he has some contact. He's talked to somebody in Child Protective Services, and I said, well, it's not quite that simple. I don't want her to wind up at Child Protective Services. I want her to wind up either at my house or Les's house. Right. So do it like I did. Uh, like you did? Yeah. What's that? Just, well, you can, like, call my lawyer and he'll tell you how we did it legally. Okay. But basically, well, first, Les needs to, well, we got to find a home that'll take it through court. Mm hmm And what we did was petition for an emancipation or a transfer of guardianship. Okay. Promising the judge, of course, that she would be put in school. Right. And what it'll do is, once she turns 18, mm -hmm. it'll emancipate her, basically. Yeah. Well, were you legally emancipated at age 16 then? I mean, because according to the law, and we've been looking at this in the past, is that they There are no emancipation statutes in Utah. There aren't. Because Utah has a really, really fat, strong family law. Because, well, they have this weird thing about it. You can get married at 15 by going before a right. judge. And the, the judge so is... So what we did with me anyway was we had a transfer of guardianship. Okay. The judge took... Um, every guard, every parental right away, except for the visitation rights, mm -hmm. from my parents, and gave them to my foster parents. Okay. And then said the visitation rights were still there, but they were to be um, set by me when I wanted to, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. Okay. Now, with her father, how many wives does he have? Three. He has three. He married his first wife. Okay, and she's she's a daughter of which which wife? She's the daughter of the first. Of the first wife, okay. So so she's biological daughter of first wife. Right. And the first wife is that a legal marriage? I believe so. Hmm. Okay. And how does her mother feel about this? I haven't talked to her parents. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're pissed at me. Okay, because I mean, looking at it maybe from a legal point of view. Her father being a polygamist with three wives is in violation of the law, which is, is a claim that you could use, of course, to try to hold your position that the, the home environment's not a good environment. Right. Also, the half-sister that was taken to uh, Canada. Canada. Is, is that the one I keep hearing the story about where she was going to have to marry somebody she didn't want her down below, so she went up above instead? She's going to have to marry her dad. Her dad being? Marvin. Marvin. Marvin has already married one of his second wife's daughters. Bi biological daughters? No. Stepdaughters? Yes. So some of the kids were real. When the wife, when the second and third wife came along? The second wife was taken from her husband because he was caught reading Playboys, basically. Okay. And so the... So they gave his, that whole family to Marvin. He has raised them as his children. Right. And then he took the oldest daughter for a wife. Which gets down into the violation of, of trust. Huh? The, 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 the violation of trust. We went through this with Ron Barton. I think this is disgusting. Yeah. Okay, he was going to marry Kate. They went out, and then there was Roberta Jr. She married someone in Canada. Mm -hmm. Then there was Anita. He was going to marry Anita. Anita refused. Said, I'm leaving. I won't marry you. So, so they found Anita a different husband. She's the second wife. She has two children. Okay. Okay. Then Sammy came along. Marvin was like, well, I'll just marry Sammy, Sammy, at 15. Sammy said, no way. Or this was when she was 14. They took her to Canada because she was rebelling. She was in love with my little brother. 
UK. Mm -hmm. They sent them both to Canada to brainwash them. Effectively did it. She was married as the third wife to Jerry Palmer. But I think it's on record that she's his only wife. But she's 15 still, even still. She's still 15. So, yeah. she, so she was married to this person up in Canada when she was 14 or 13? Four, she was 15. She, it was a week after her 15th birthday. Okay, and but, but she's married as a single, she's the first one and only wife of this guy. No. No. She's the third. The third, okay. But Caroline <laughs> says legally she's the first and only. She's the first because the other ones weren't didn't have a written paper trail and this one did. Yeah. It allows them to circumvent the law because they're common law with the older wives and they're marrying the young one to make it legal because with par parental consent. Right, you can, you can get married at age 15 with your parents, a judge, and all that. Yeah, but they didn't have a judge. Right. So they didn't do that. And it was across the border. And I'm pretty sure that his other wives that live in the same house have children, too. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the other thing that you can use in this case, if you have to, is he has physically abused his children, Caroline included. Yeah. Physical being... Uh, uh, Freedom. Uh, with spelled flyers, hangers, et cetera, left bruises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to have the, the nature of all those details, so. Um, they haven't been in school, again, which is considered an emotional abuse. They, they're all because they're, they're part of the homeschool crowd. Yeah, they've all been to Warren's so-called school. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you tested them, they'd test out really, really low. Yeah. Anyway, but you can get all these details from her. Yeah, that's why Les is coming, is he's going to get as much as he can to yeah, figure out. Yeah, promise me she'll be safe. Oh, yeah, well, she'll, be, she'll be safe, but we may be in trouble, so that's why I'm trying to work my way around. Huh? I, I definitely need to get that number when you, when we meet you with you about your lawyer, because yeah. I'll get a hold of... Uh, has Vicky had her baby? Oh, you would. No, never mind. You don't, who? You, um, well, Vicky was pregnant. Uh, Prunty? Oh, Vicky. I don't know. I need to get a hold of Doug White, too. I need another attorney. I need everybody. Well, you got the case you wanted. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I told you I'd get you one. <laughs> yeah, you got me my nightmare, but uh, it, it could be good. I mean, we would love to see one girl successfully come off the hill, kind of like yourself, but, I mean, her age is good because she's still under 16. Yeah. And do it by her own choice and then stay off the hill by her own choice. And Well, if we can get her out and she doesn't have to face her dad, she won't go back. Now, she faces her dad. Does she have a fear of waffling because of that? Or? She is terrified of her dad. I have, like She's probably more scared of her dad than I was of mine. Okay. Uh, do you, will she be okay in, in having a conversation? I know that uh, Deloitte wanted her okay, to call. Okay, over the phone, yes. Okay, because I, I really, if, if I and have... And if there's someone between her and him, yes. Okay. She's okay with that. It's just being by herself with her dad. Right. Not a good situation. Okay, I, I'm getting a hold of the state attorney's office now in Utah, but again, she's from Arizona, so this is going to create different issues. But I'll, I'll well, uh, work yeah. out. How long will it take me to get to Fillmore? Well, okay, it's... About two and a half hours? Yeah, 